What are search costs in economics? Like who is searching for what? What are we talking about? And who is doing the searching is the suppliers and the demanders in some market who are searching for each other. So they're searching for some kind of match that is the optimal match for them. And the classic example, of course, is workers searching for jobs, where the workers are the suppliers of labor, that the jobs are the employers demanding labor. But you can also have firms searching for uh, suppliers, like which brand should they use for their uh, butter if they're a if they're a restaurant and they're trying to figure out what's the optimal butter for our product or whatnot. Um, consumers searching for products, like when you're on Amazon and you're trying to figure out okay, what's going to be the best uh, notebook or whatnot. You might research those. Of course, there's customer reviews that helps you with your search. So it's basically the costs, which are oftentimes, sometimes they're monetary costs, sometimes they're effort costs, sometimes they're time costs. Uh, those are the costs that are involved in figuring out which supplier is right for you or which demander is right for you. Um, firms, of course, searching for contractors if it's a building company and they need to hire an electrician or a company to do the electrician work in that, that building, that's, they're going to incur search costs, which involve basically you know, paying someone to research the different companies, paying someone to weigh the information to figure out what's best. So it's a matching process. That's what search costs are in economics. Now, search theory in economics has to do with the cost-benefit calculation to determine how long should you search, how much should you invest in searching, and there's going to be a marginal cost, marginal benefit analysis that goes along with that, where uh, it's possible to search too long, where the benefit of searching more people, of interviewing more people for the job, doesn't really... Uh, where that, that benefit does not outweigh the cost of keeping the search open, of paying people to do these interviews. So let's look at a marginal cost, marginal benefit diagram and map that onto search theory. So if we're imagining an employer who's interviewing people, um, one possible input here could be the time you keep the job opening open before filling it. Another could be uh, the number of interviews you conduct. And like many things in economics, you've got a classic diminishing marginal benefit, increasing marginal cost situation where the benefit of interviewing more people, like it's very beneficial to interview the first three. Very beneficial because you're comparing, you're likely to get someone good. But then you ask the question, okay, what if we add at the margin a fourth interview? Well, there's going to be costs to that interview because, you know, you have to pay for the time of the people who are interviewing. There's an opportunity cost to, uh, to those people's time as they interview. There's an opportunity cost in terms of um, not having the position filled and what kinds of productivity is lost from keeping that job open. But there's a benefit to interviewing a fourth and that could be, well, we could find someone who's better than the first three. So even though the chances that number four is better than the best of the first three, that's going to be less than um, the, certainly than interviewing the first three, so it's diminishing at the margin. And you know, you're going to do that same exercise all along this graph where the benefit of, um, of interviewing number seven, what's the chance that number seven is better than the best of the first six? Well, that's going to be less than the chance that number four is better than the best of the first three. So we've got diminishing marginal benefit. We've got increasing marginal cost, particularly since keeping the search open for longer is going to uh, mean the opportunity cost of not getting the work done that that person would get done. And the longer you do that, the more your company is in trouble. Like you can kind of manage for a week or two weeks or three weeks, but as the search stretches out longer and longer, the opportunity cost rises um, at an increasing marginal rate. And of course, search theory is basically how long should you search? You search until the point where marginal benefit equals marginal cost, and that maximizes the value within this space, the maximum bulge there. Now, one problem with this is that in the real world, you may not have good information about uh, the distribution of skills and whatnot out there, or the distribution of the product you're trying to match with. So that's going to complicate this by adding risk and uncertainty where 
Um, if you don't know what, what kind of quality should I expect from an employee or what quality should I expect from this kind of contractor, then maybe your search process is not, is not perfect and you might need to build that into the model. And you might imagine a lot of digital tools are designed to reduce search costs. Like if you can just go online and look at Yelp, that's going to help you figure out what contractor you want to remodel your bathroom because it's information rather than interviewing the people or rather than trying out one and if they're botching the job in the first couple of days, firing them, that, that's super expensive. Ideally, you can go online and get ideally good information from the online marketplace. And similarly, with job searches, having online tools that help match resumes to open jobs can help with that process. But the more qualitative and unmeasurable something is in terms of what you're looking for in a good match, um, the more difficult and more uncertainty you're going to have to build into your model. Now, you might imagine, of course, um, if you think of this as matching, dating markets can be modeled this way. There's a lot of things that can be modeled in this way where you have one side of a market and another side of the market trying to match up with the best match, which might be both qualitative and quantitative. 